What's going on, two three fam? Hashtag Google. It just looks so weird for today. We're back with another video. But first, I want to, you know, let you guys know that if you don't know, I started my own clothing brand. It's called. We started Welcome. a clothing brand called Welcome to Pete, and we sell T-shirts oh. and joggers. We got free shipping, and all you got to do is click the link below. Welcome to Pete.com, baby. So All yeah. the information was correct, but I didn't know you spoke French. That was nice. Come on, Oui, oui. What? If you wear Welcome to Pete clothing, you're scientifically proven to be 10 times smarter than you were before you put the clothing on. So, I say that because we're doing a video reaction to Are you smart enough for your age? How old are you? 38? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I am actually pretty confident that I'm going to knock these out. Because I think... I'm smart enough for my age. You know, I don't look like it, but I really am. How you feel? Well, I always looked at myself as a philosophical genius. Mm, you mean a biological, you know, because no, no. it's running in the family. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> it don't run in the family. <laughs> 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 hey, you know, theoretically speaking, you know, the inevitability of that situation is definitely... A hypotenuse of the hypothesis. But anyway, we're finna take this video and y'all finna see just how smart we are. Let's do this. How smart are you for your age? Very Have smart. Have you ever wondered how smart you are for your age? No, because Bright I side will give you a great chance to find this out. Let's do Here this. Here are the rules. You will need to answer 15 questions and you will get 5 points for each right answer. Don't forget you to count the points your point. because you will need them to interpret the results at the end of the video. So, let's start. One, let's start with something simple. What is the largest country in the world? A, Whoa, wait! Canada. Camera light just went out, that's crazy. One, let's start with something simple. Oh, we gotta keep what is the largest point. country in the world? A, Canada, B, Russia, C, China, D, India. C, China. China. And the right answer is Russia. It covers 6.6 .6 million <laughs> square miles. So much space. You don't so already have a five? What is the closest planet to the sun? Easy. A. Mars. B. Jupiter. C. Pluto. B, I never understand Mercury. how people get this one wrong. I don't, I don't. Song? Of course, it's Mercury. A year on Mercury is just 88 okay. days. By the way, next time I'll say your answer, maybe. <laughs> Pluto is not a planet anymore. The definition of the planet was changed, and poor Pluto failed to fit the description. Now, how about some history? Three. Who dies first? A. Charles Dickens B. Adolf Hitler C. Charles Darwin D. Queen Victoria Charles said, I don't know who Charles Dickens was the first to die I was about to say that one so. Number 4 What's the square root of 169? A. 12 B. 15 C. 13 mm, I know it D. 25 I want C Well, B. this one is pretty easy Yeah! Five. How many sides does a cube have? A. 10. B. 6. C. 8. D. Depends C. on the size of the cube. Of course, it doesn't depend on the size of the cube. It has six sides no matter what. Let me have time to dissect the question. Six. Why is the sky blue? A. Because it reflects off the ocean. It's not right. B, because of the North Pole. Reflects C, off the ocean. Because of Earth's atmosphere. The right answer the is C. The thing is, light that comes from the sun scatters in the atmosphere Bro, I said five points. Shorter waves scatter more. That's why all we have left from sense. a visible light is the blue color. That was Seven. Right. What is the capital of Bulgaria? Bulgaria a. Rome. Is, B. Bucharest. Uh, C. Sofia. D. D. Bratislava. D. B. All right, it's Sofia. But let's go to the next question. Eight. Mm. What is the largest animal? A. Bear. B. The blue whale. Blue whale. C. Tiger. D. Elephant. B. The, the largest whale. animal in the world is the blue whale. It can be as big as 140 tons. Can you even imagine such a giant thing? By the way, you can watch a great video on our channel about 10 cute animals that can actually kill you. Number 9. Who wrote The Catcher in the Rye? A. J.D. Salinger B. Ian Hemingway B. C. F.S. Fitzgerald D. J.A. Steiner D. This book was written yeah. by J.D. Salinger. 
Everyone should know this stuff. 10. Which vitamin is abundant in citrus fruits? A. Vitamin A. B. Vitamin B. C. Vitamin C. D. Vitamin D. You know, C. Citrus. Easy to memorize. Doctors say that when you are sick, you should eat oranges because they have a lot of vitamin C and it helps you to recover faster. The healthy sunny D. 11. Who defined the law of gravitation? A. Newton. B. Archimedes. C. Galileo. D. Einstein. A. Newton. The right answer is Newton. You probably know the story about an apple falling on his head. We're not sure if the story is true, but Newton was definitely the first one to so find the law of gravitation. So if the story isn't true, how can you say the law of gravity is true? 12. Where is bullfighting the national game? A. Italy. B. France. C. Spain. D. Poland. Spain. Bullfighting or corrida is the national game in Spain. However, as of 2010, bullfighting was banned in Catalonia, but not yet in the rest of Spain. Oh, I don't even know what Catalonia is. 13. Who composed the four seasons? A. Mozart. B. Bach. C. Beethoven. D. Vivaldi. The Four Mozart. Seasons, which is a beautiful piece of music, was composed by Antonio Vivaldi. See, my would be Beethoven. 14. What is the name of the device that is used to see objects on the surface from a submarine? A. Periscope. B. Telescope. C. Spectroscope. D. Kaleidoscope. I'm going with A. The right answer is Periscope. Ha! Last question. Yeah! The headquarters of the UNESCO is at A. New York. What the B, fuck is Paris, the UNESCO? C, Rome. Rome. London. Everybody know that thing in London. This organization is situated in Paris, France. What is the UNESCO? Now it's time to calculate the results. You get five points for each right answer. Now enter your score into the calculator. Yeah. But if you are younger than 10, divide it by 10. And if you are older than 18, divide your score by 18. Now, when you have a number, add 6 to it, and let's check what your score means. You are extremely smart. You have a great general knowledge. Congratulations. You are intelligent enough for your age. This is a good result. It means you should read more books and learn harder to improve your general knowledge. How do you say how you do that? Are with your results? Tell us in the comments section. You take your score, divide it by 18, and then add 6 to it. What they say? What they say about the seven? Seven. You need to read more. What? <laughs> you need to read more. <laughs> you said go back because they they wrong. They they said it right. Well, I think our seven is different because yours is seven point something. No, I'm eight point two. Oh, this is a good result. Oh. It means you should read result. more books and learn harder to improve your general knowledge. Are you satisfied with your result? Tell us in the comments section below. You said the result part should have been one of the questions because that was the hardest one. <laughs> Look. I got 40. How much you get? I got 25, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you know, go ahead and vote me your next president because, uh, yeah. Shit, I apparently, I got to go back. Who? I'm going back to HFA. <laughs> <laughs> I got four. I'm about to do four more years. <laughs> oh, you gotta go back to school. You said as long <laughs> when you go back to school shopping, you know where to go. Welcome to Pete. Dot what? Dot com. Yeah. Welcome to Pete.com. And school is getting ready to start up for y'all. Make sure y'all go welcome to Pete.com. Even though we in Zoom calls, you can still have your fresh fit on. You know. Mm -hmm. You got to dress like it's the first day of school. Got to. Welcome to Pete.com. Go get yours. Okay. Okay. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Come on!